Welcome friends to another r slash am I the jerk video. I don't mean to be a jerk for asking, but could you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below? That said, our first story of the day is by adno35355435. Am I the jerk? I flipped out on my fiance for selling the gaming chair my brother gifted me to pay for her gym membership. I, male 33, lost my 27-year-old brother to cancer a couple of months ago. We were so close and had a lot in common. He was a gamer and had all types of gaming gear, including a gaming chair that he wanted me to have before he died. It's devastating because we were really hoping and had plans to spend Christmas 2021 together. This chair I consider special because it was my brother's favorite of all gear, and it reminds me of him whenever I sit in it. I don't play anymore. It just brings me closer to him to a degree I cannot explain, and it brings me so much comfort. I keep the chair in my office, and days ago, I found out that my fiance who's been out of a job and complaining about no longer being able to attend the gym, took the chair and sold it online to be able to pay for her next month's gym membership. When I found out, I flipped out hugely and had a very negative reaction. She told me that she was desperate for money and after selling all she had, she had no choice but to sell the chair. I reminded her of who this chair belongs to, but she said I already have tons of keepsakes for my brother, and so I shouldn't act like it was the end of the world. She also vented about her past eating disorders and her anxiety when it comes to keeping fit and claimed that I was dismissing that she's struggling. I yelled at her and called her inconsiderate and selfish and told her that she should never have took and sold any of my stuff for a gym membership when she literally could have kept working out from home. She started crying as we argued, then she went to stay with her mom who tried to give me a stern talk about my attitude, but I didn't answer that and haven't been talking to my fiance since then. Things haven't gotten better and I got called over dramatic for reacting and treated my fiance like that over a gaming chair. I feel guilty because I've never yelled at her in my life before. Am I the jerk? Was I too hard on her? I would definitely think OP was not a jerk in this situation. To somebody on the outside looking in, maybe you see something that somebody has a lot of sentimental feelings over that you would be like, it's just a chair. But I feel like considering who it came from, how much it meant to that person, how recent everything's happened, it's totally understandable to feel that way. And then second off, she stole it from them without telling and sold it. I hope OP can get their chair back. What do you guys think? Is it weird to be so sentimental over a gaming chair? Or do you think OP's completely in the right here? Let me know what you think in the comments. Our next story is by the Elder Agrippina. Am I the jerk for tricking my boyfriend into eating vegan? I, female 21, am vegan and have been so for several years. I started dating John, male 22, about three and a half months. We've gotten along wonderfully except for this past issue. When we went out to dinner for the first time, I told him I was vegan when ordering my dish and he just kind of went, oh, cool, and started talking about something else. It never really came up ever again as a point of discussion, though when he's come over and I've made lunch or dinner, it's always been vegan dishes. I've never tried to actively hide this from him. When he asked what we were having, I'd say things like burgers, and I assumed that he knew it would naturally be something like impossible burgers. For Christmas, neither of us could afford to travel home, and neither are very close to our families. So we had Christmas at my apartment, and I cooked dinner, vegan lasagna. After dinner, we were watching some cooking show, and a contestant was making something with fake meat. John commented how he hated when dishes pretended to be meat when it was plant-based, and it was deceptive and gross, and he would never eat that. I was naturally very confused and pointed out that he's eaten that several times. When he questioned me, I explained that dinner had been entirely vegan with fake meat, and every time he's eaten at my place, it's been a vegan dish. He got really mad. I'm trying to keep this post concise, but he accused me of tricking him into eating something he found disgusting and forcing my diet on him. I said he was stupid for being mad at this, and he said it would be the same as if he tricked me into eating meat. I said it wasn't the same because I was morally opposed to eating meat, but nobody was morally opposed to eating plants. We argued some more and he left and went home. He hasn't been over since. 
Yesterday, I texted him to smooth things over and hoping he's cooled down. He wrote a few paragraphs about how betrayed he felt. He said that he hoped I understood how disappointed he felt that I would tamper with his food like that, and that something like this was a serious betrayal of his trust. He said I should have disclosed that none of the food I ever made contained meat. He finished it by saying he would come over for New Year's only if I apologized for lying to him. I got frustrated and said that I didn't lie, that this wasn't something I should apologize for, and he was being stupid and childish. He hasn't replied. Now, I don't know if this is controversial or not, but let me state that I'm very much for vegan imitation food. It doesn't bother me in the slightest, and I've had quite a few meals like Impossible Burgers and things like that. I think the important thing here is the boyfriend is standing on the perch of OP lied to them. I think in reality, they didn't lie. They said burgers, it's still a burger meal, whether it's a plant-based burger or a meat burger. And honestly, if anything, this is more on the boyfriend for not, I don't know, asking more about what the food actually is. Then everyone said, oh, this is really good. What'd you put in this? Or how'd you make this? Or, oh, this is kind of weird. How'd you make this? Or, oh, this isn't how I was expecting it to taste. Just wolfed it down, never made a comment about it. And then after the fact is like, oh, you lied to me. Well, must have been pretty good. I think the boyfriend should get over himself. This next story is by Surfing Ponyta. Am I the jerk for refusing to be tested to see if my kidney is a match for my biological father? I am a 23-year-old woman who was raised by my mother and her husband who raised me since I was four years old after my biological father walked out of my mother and me when I was a baby. The man who raised me is my father in every way that matters, and I wouldn't change him for anything. A few months ago, my biological father got in contact and wanted to meet. I allowed it and slowly started to get to know him, mostly because it turns out I have younger half-siblings, and I didn't want to cut them off. Plus, despite it all, I wanted to try and understand the why behind him walking out and try to move beyond it. A couple of days ago, though, I realized the truth behind his reaching out. He revealed he needs a kidney transplant and none of my half-siblings are a match. He wants me to be tested. I was honestly hurt by this as he clearly only reached out to me as a last resort and saw me as nothing more than a backup to try and get an organ from. I've told him I won't get tested, but he's trying to guilt me over his health and my younger half-siblings are begging me to get tested. Am I the jerk for saying no? I don't know if it's up to me to say whether it's right or wrong, but I'll say personally, I think OP has a very valid reason to feel that way. In general, I don't think it ever feels good if somebody's gonna reach out to you out of the blue, show some interest in you and act like they wanna get to know you or be around you, and then reveal their true colors of they just wanted something from you. What do you guys think? Is OP a jerk for saying no to getting tested in this situation? I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Our next story is by MXGDT. Am I the jerk for choosing my brother over my girlfriend and not defending her against my friends? Background info, I'm 21 and my brother Luke is 18. I was always very protective of my brother. He was the accident baby and my parents made sure that we knew he wasn't wanted. We're the opposite. I'm into sport and outgoing. He's shy and introvert. So they always criticized him, compared us, and everything he did was never good enough. Because of that, Luke got more withdrawn around my parents and my family. For my friends, we're a group of four. I met them when I was between 6 and 10. We became inseparable since then, and they quickly took the role of big brother with Luke. So during our childhood, it was always me, my friends, and Luke. We were the ones taking care of him, driving him, cheering for him at competitions, helping with homework. Things changed when me and my friends started university. We were less present. With COVID, his school closed and his competition stopped. He was at home alone with my parents, and it got really hard for him mentally. This year in September, I took an apartment with my friends and we changed city. One month ago, Luke came one night in tears. He came out to our parents the night of his 18th birthday, and it went badly. They told him awful things, and still do every day. Apparently, they'll only accept him if he decided to date a girl to avoid any shame. They also told him I would never accept him, and this is why he never told me until now. I never saw my brother that depressed. That night, I told everything to my friends. The next day, the three of them told us that he should move in, and they were adamant that he should not pay for rent or anything. He's doing home classes, everything's good, and I can see him getting happier every day. Now the issue 
I got with my girlfriend four months ago, and since Luke came living with us, she has some complaints. I'm too close to him, he's always here, always sad. She says that in front of him. I told her to stop, but my roommates told me she still does it when I'm in another room. Two days ago, the both of us were watching a movie and Luke was working on the table next to us. She suddenly started talking about her dream wedding and at one point she said, Luke, if you want to come to our wedding, you'll have to bring a woman as a date. Two men together are not pretty for the pictures. You'll just have to date a girl. It's not hard. Luke heard and I saw his face crumble. I immediately asked her to leave and told her I would speak with her the next day. I spent the whole night re-comforting Luke. During the evening, she texted my roommates and they all told her that she was not welcome anymore. The next day, she and I talked and she told me that it was just a joke, that Luke was too sensitive. She also got mad when I told her that she had to respect the wishes of my roommates, that it was their home too. She then accused me of not defending her, overreacting, being too protective or too close to Luke, and not trying to understand her. I'm sorry, but in my eyes, if you have any semblance of knowledge of what Luke has been dealing with, you're not going to go around and joke like that in front of them. If you do, I think you're the other word for a donkey. It takes a special kind of jerk to go around and make fun of things like that about people that they're very clearly dealing with, struggling with, and are sensitive about. And it actually makes me really happy to hear about Luke's brother and their roommates and how they're giving Luke such a good, strong, supportive foundation and sticking by them even when it comes to things like relationships. This next story is by throwaway3347777. Am I the jerk for deciding to reconnect with a friend rather than stay with my pregnant wife? I, 34-year-old male, am married to Izzy, 32-year-old female. We've been married for 5 years and things have been good. She's 36 weeks pregnant and, over the course of her pregnancy, has been especially clingy and worried. A few days ago, an old friend from uni messaged me and asked if I wanted to meet up because he was in my state. For some more context, me and this friend used to be extremely close. He helped me through a lot of stuff and was overall a really great influence in my life at the time. Unfortunately though, he had only traveled over to America for school and after uni he went back to Britain. So over time we lost most contact with each other. I of course agreed to meet him because I did want to know how he'd been and hopefully have more contact with him now that we're older. Izzy didn't agree with this though, saying that she could go into labor while I was gone and she didn't trust him because she'd never met him. Izzy has never shown any signs of going into labor and constantly says that she's still having regular symptoms and is estimated to go into labor in mid-January. To try and appease her, I asked if she wanted to come with me, which she declined. With all of this in mind, I decided to leave anyway because he wouldn't be here for long, and it wasn't just something I could reschedule at a later date. We only got to talk for an hour or so, but it went good, and hopefully I'll be talking to him more. But Izzy is still being extremely cold towards me, saying that I shouldn't have left and prioritized meeting an old friend I hardly even talked to over her. I didn't think I was prioritizing the meeting, and if the situation had been even a bit different, like Izzy having actual labor symptoms or my friend living here, I wouldn't have went. I asked my mother about it and she agreed that I was the jerk here and that my wife should come before an old uni friend. I don't really know how to fix the whole situation and I don't think I was really in the wrong. Am I the jerk? Now, when your partner's pregnant, I do think it comes with a lot of extra responsibility, making sure everything is good. In this situation, it was a very limited time thing, they're only going to be here for a while. OP's wife was showing no worrying signs, she's expected to deliver within a few weeks. I think it was a bit of an overreaction from her. And OP even offered to bring her along if she was that worried. I don't think OP was being a jerk here. And honestly, once they got back and it's revealed that nothing went wrong and there was no problems at all, I know it's difficult probably with the pregnancy going on, but I feel like the wife should just kind of let it go. And our final story of the day is by Cancer Throwaway 1235. Am I the jerk for exposing my sister for faking a terminal illness? I, 24-year-old male, have been noticing that my sister, 17-year-old female, has been posting TikToks of her coughing, holding random tubes, and other crap that threw up some red flags for me, but I thought it was harmless. Just a kid being dumb, like kids are known to do, until I met her boyfriend, 19-year-old male, during our family Christmas. 
Her boyfriend was an incredibly polite guy that introduced himself, brought a gift for my mother, and was affectionate towards my sister. An awesome guy all around. Later in the night, the three of us were sitting and talking in the living room when my sister had a step away. The silence was broken by him asking me how I took the news. I asked what he was talking about and was informed that apparently my sister was dying. On top of that, my sister was hospitalized from the 17th to the 19th and had to cancel her plans with him. I didn't really think anything of it as I corrected him that my sister spent the entire weekend at home playing games and barely leaving her room and that she wasn't sick that any of us knew of. He didn't really react. He did the Midwest tradition of putting your hands on your lap and standing up and making literally any excuse to leave. My sister informed me that they broke up and she no longer wants to talk to me. I later found out from a friend of mine that she's pretending to have an unspecified terminal illness for sympathy and apparently sometimes money. She would routinely cancel plans because she was too weak. I definitely don't think OP's the jerk. If anybody was in that situation and they didn't know, I feel like after the fact, they would be wishing that they found out a lot sooner. Imagine caring for somebody and doing things for them and buying things and giving them experiences. And then you just find out from an offhand comment from their sibling, oh, they're not sick. It's really nice that they just stood up and walked out because I feel like a lot of people would have very different reactions. But with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. So of all these stories I've read today, which is your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't yet, if you could like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Whatever you do, whether it's liking, subscribing, turning notifications on, all of it helps grow this channel and I appreciate the heck out of it. So until next time, I'll see you all tomorrow with some more stories.